Let's take a look at a more advanced setup for our foot sweep that's gonna be more competition, live training-esque. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna force our partner into a spin so that we can sweep with our left foot instead of our right foot. So for this one, my partner is gonna start with his right foot forward and I'm gonna start with my right foot forward. But my left leg is the sweeping leg this time rather than the right. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step up even with his foot and I'm gonna use my right hand to kind of pull him behind, just like we've been doing this entire time. I'm just gonna step, turn, and notice my right foot took additional step, okay? So when I'm in this position, up, and then I pull him, and as I do that, I follow his foot. It goes from here to following his foot. Okay, so I'm cheat stepping here. I'm taking two steps to his one. We're in this position, I take one, and right here, I'm gonna take two, there. Now, his feet can slide together, and I can bring them together with my left leg. So from this angle, up, change that angle, step, bring them together, okay? The easiest way to practice this is to have your partner put both hands on the shoulder. I'm gonna come inside ties, and I'm gonna have good control of his body now. And it also helps keep us relatively the same distance away so that I can step up, pull, and sweep. Step up, pull, sweep. Step up, pull, and sweep together. Notice how extended I am here, and I'm starting to turn that wheel and bow his body as if I really wanted to take his feet out for the foot sweep, okay? We're in this position, step, turn. If I wanna go the other way, step, pull, turn. Okay, we can practice both sides. Step, step, okay? And basically when we're in this position, I turn it, the big thing here is this hand and making a connection with his hip, bringing his elbow along with him. So when I turn, I can get that bow where I'm jamming his shoulder over, jamming his hip while bringing his feet together all in one motion. Now again, this is not necessarily mean you can sweep them off their feet, but it is a good opportunity just to get a good stumble. Boom, there, and now I can look to score an easy five point throw from there, or at least disrupt him and hopefully he pulls guard so that I can play top position. It's not necessarily a big foot sweeping throw. You can practice it if you have a crash pad at home or like we are, we're on sprung floors, so they're nice easy falls. But for the most part, don't think of foot sweeps as the, hey, I'm gonna score a ton of takedowns with them. Use them more for setups and distractions for your bigger, better throws.